one of the number one questions that I get is what is the NGB, uh, the national governing body, and that is USA Softball, and how we're qualified to be the national governing body is through the USOPC, so the United States Olympic and Paralympic Committee. And uh, we are the only softball organization that fields an Olympic team. Mm -hmm. And I think when you, as a grassroots player, as a youth player, even slow pitch adult teams, when you register with USA Softball to play in our events, you are contributing, we're a nonprofit, so you're contributing back to those national team programs. And it's not just the women's national team, we also have a men's national team that goes in and competes internationally too. So when you're playing in USA softball events around the country as a grassroots player or coach or even umpiring and you're registering with us, you're contributing back to that national team. Yeah. yeah and that was going to be like, my next question was when you mentioned youth development, like you started when you were four, like this starts somewhere. Yeah. Has there been any big changes like in how that's been done over the years just to widen the spectrum and get more kids involved in softball? Yeah. So one of our, Initiatives or one of our partnerships with is with Major League Baseball mm -hmm. and uh, together with USA Baseball, we have the Play Ball Initiative. And it's a free uh, initiative that we really just go out and in introduce the game, bat and ball sport, to kids. And um, it they go all over the, the country um, to try to just introduce the, the game to people. And I think that's one of the biggest things is now kids are playing video games and they're not really going outside as much. So how do we get the kids interested in, in the bat and ball sport? And that's one of our initiatives that, yeah. that we do.